You should always be a pioneer if you wish to be a leader in a specific field. And I believe we can say that we are the leaders in water jet cutting technology. We've developed a number of innovations in this field. We were first with the double head unit, then with the movable axis. We were first to be able to cut so precisely. We were the first in manufacturing miniature parts. We also founded a group called the Swiss Water and Laser Cut, and we were the first to develop a vocational position in the field of water and laser cutting. The job is processed according to the customer order. If the design is electronically available, for example in the form of a DXF file, then it's imported directly into the programming system. Otherwise, the drawing is created in the CAD system. The data is stored in a customer-specific file and a copy is sent over the network to the appropriate machine. Based on the information located in the central database, the programmer will define the cutting parameter, quality, as well as the cutting tool and abrasive. Once the availability of the raw material is determined and the optimal utilization specified, the operator decides, based on machine utilization, on which machine and when the parts are being produced. The operator recognizes a new job and the requested priority in the production schedule. He then gets the material for this order and clamps it into the machine. He specifies the starting point and decides whether the piercing and cutting is done above or underwater. Whenever possible, the jobs will be cut underwater to reduce noise and to eliminate the emission of water and dust. The machine has a precision of plus minus one micron. The workpiece is pierced with up to 60,000 psi water pressure. Most materials can be cut without influencing or affecting the structure of the material. The cutting speed depends on the material and the required cutting quality. The machine cuts the predetermined process automatically. Once the cutting process is completed, the green lamp will flash, alerting the operator that the finished parts can be removed. The parts are inspected and results recorded as per the customer's requirements. The information is kept in a customer-specific file and if requested, a copy of the inspection protocol will be included with the parts. Since the processes and material data is collected, it's possible to track any part at any time. The process evaluation is fed to the central database. This ensures that the parameters can be used for continuous optimization. We would like to not only use this technology but also distribute it worldwide. To do this we searched for a partner and found one, a long-term customer of ours, the Max Detwiler AG in Bleienbach, Switzerland. They completely manufacture and assemble the equipment as well as distribute. This technology has such a great potential that together we're going full speed ahead to make this a huge business for us both in the near future.